Have you ever wondered what makes a dish unique or creative? What is it that transforms a simple meal into a culinary masterpiece? Is it the unconventional recipe that has been passed down through generations? Or perhaps it's the secret ingredient that adds an unexpected twist? Maybe it's an unusual cooking technique that sets it apart. In this video, we'll embark on a gastronomic journey exploring the world's most creative and unique dishes. From the bustling streets of Tokyo to the rustic kitchens of Tuscany, we'll uncover the secrets that make these dishes so extraordinary. We'll delve into the hush-hush ingredients that chefs guard with their lives. We'll discover cooking methods that are as unexpected as they are effective. We're not just talking about food here, we're talking about works of art, masterpieces that engage all your senses and ignite your imagination. So, let's delve into the world of culinary creativity and innovation, shall we? Picture a watermelon. Is it round? Well, not in Japan. Japanese farmers have reimagined this quintessential summer fruit, transforming it into a perfect square. This isn't some kind of genetic modification or science experiment gone awry. No, it's a testament to the ingenuity and creativity of Japanese agriculture, turning a common fruit into a unique culinary gem. The story of the square watermelon starts in the late 80s, when a forward-thinking farmer in Kagawa Prefecture decided to reshape the watermelon to make it easier to store and transport. His solution? Grow the watermelons in glass boxes, letting nature do the rest. As the watermelons grow, they naturally conform to the shape of the box, resulting in a perfect square. But it's not just about practicality. The square watermelon has become a symbol of luxury and novelty. It's a status symbol, a conversation piece, a gift given on special occasions. And it's not just the shape that's unique. The taste is subtly different too, with many claiming that these square watermelons have a sweeter, more concentrated flavor. And the innovation doesn't stop at squares. Japanese farmers have also experimented with other shapes, including pyramids and even hearts. But it's the square watermelon that remains the most iconic, a symbol of Japan's innovative spirit and culinary creativity. Of course, all this novelty comes with a price. Square watermelons can cost up to a hundred times more than their round counterparts. But for those who can afford it, the experience of slicing into a perfect square of juicy sweet watermelon is worth every yen. In Japan, the square watermelon has become more than just a fruit. It's a unique recipe in itself, a culinary curiosity that challenges our perceptions of what food can be. It's a reminder that in the world of food, there are no rules, only possibilities. Isn't it fascinating how a simple twist can transform a common fruit into something so unique? Scene script. Ever thought of adding coffee to your steak? Well, Italians do. The artistry of Italian cuisine is renowned worldwide. But there's a secret ingredient you might not expect. Yes, the very same coffee that fuels your mornings and punctuates your afternoons can also transform your evening meal. Italians have a tradition of using coffee as a rub for meats, a practice that might seem unorthodox, but once you've tasted it, you'll understand why it's endured. Coffee rubs are more than just a novelty. The ground beans add a depth of flavour that's simply unattainable with traditional seasonings. The coffee's natural bitterness balances the richness of the meat, while its robust aroma enhances the sensory experience of the dish. Creating a coffee rub is both an art and a science. The key is in the balance. Too much coffee and the flavour can become overpowering. Too little and you miss out on the unique qualities it brings to the table. The perfect blend often includes other spices, such as paprika, garlic and even a touch of brown sugar to counteract the coffee's bitterness. But don't think this coffee rub is limited to steak alone. This versatile concoction can be used with other meats too. Try it with pork or chicken for a twist on your usual recipes. And for the adventurous among us, why not give it a go on fish? The coffee's robust flavour can stand up to the strongest of seafood. And it's not just about the flavour. Coffee rubs also have a practical purpose. The oils in the coffee help to create a beautiful crust on the meat, sealing in the juices and ensuring your steak is as tender as can be. This little-known Italian secret has the potential to revolutionise your cooking. It's a testament to the creativity and innovation that characterises Italian cuisine. So next time you're brewing a pot of coffee, why not set some aside for dinner? You might just discover your new favourite flavour combination. Who knew coffee could be such a game-changer in the kitchen? 
What if we told you that the secret to some of the most flavorful Indian dishes is slow cooking in a sealed pot? Yes, you heard it right. This technique, known as dum pukht, has its roots deep in the gastronomic culture of India. Dum pukht, which literally translates to breath cooked, is an age-old cooking method from the Indian subcontinent. The technique is believed to have originated around the 16th century in the royal kitchens of Awad, now known as Uttar Pradesh. Imagine a pot brimming with aromatic spices, succulent meat and flavorful grains, all harmoniously mingling under a sealed lid. The pot is placed over a low flame, allowing the ingredients to cook in their own juices. The sealing, traditionally done with dough, ensures that no steam escapes, locking in the flavors and imbuing the dish with a depth of taste that is hard to match. This process of cooking over a low flame for a long time, often for hours, allows the ingredients to release their maximum flavor. The slow cooking also tenderizes the meat, making it melt in your mouth soft and infuses the grains with the essence of the spices and meat. Dampucht is not just a cooking technique, but a culinary tradition that gives birth to some of the most popular dishes in Indian cuisine. Biryani, a fragrant rice dish layered with marinated meat, is perhaps the most famous example. The slow-cooked biryani is a symphony of flavors, with every grain of rice carrying the rich essence of spices and meat. It's a dish that's loved not just in India, but across the globe. Then there's dumpuk chicken, a creamy, spice-infused dish that's a feast for the senses. The slow cooking ensures that the chicken absorbs all the flavors, resulting in a dish that's incredibly rich and satisfying. It's amazing how a simple cooking technique can elevate a dish to a whole new level, isn't it? The art of Dumpukt is a testament to the magic that can happen when time, patience and skill come together in the kitchen. It's a culinary tradition that continues to enthrall food lovers around the world. Ever considered insects as a source of protein? Well, Mexicans do. In Mexico, culinary creativity takes on a whole new level when it comes to incorporating insects into their dishes. Yes, you heard that right, insects. Now, before you cringe, let's delve a bit deeper into this fascinating aspect of Mexican cuisine. Mexico is home to over 500 edible insect species. From crunchy chapulines, a type of grasshopper, to gusanos, a variety of worm, these critters are not merely survival food, but a cherished part of the country's rich gastronomic heritage. Now, why insects, you might wonder? Apart from being a sustainable and eco-friendly source of food, they are packed with nutrients. High in protein, low in fat, and rich in vitamins, minerals, and fiber, these tiny creatures offer a veritable feast of health benefits. In fact, the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations has been promoting insects as a viable food source to combat global hunger and malnutrition. But it's not just about the nutrients, it's also about the unique flavor profiles these insects bring to the table. Take escamoles, for instance, known as the Mexican caviar. These ant larvae have a rich, buttery taste that's been cherished by food lovers for centuries. Or the maguey worm, which when fried brings a crispy, nutty flavor to dishes. In Mexican cuisine, these insects are used in a multitude of ways. They might be toasted and sprinkled on top of a guacamole or folded into tacos. They can be ground into sauces or salsas, adding a distinctive flavor and texture. Embracing insects in the culinary world might seem a little unconventional to some, but it's this very willingness to experiment and innovate that keeps cuisine evolving and exciting. Whether it's a crunchy chapuline taco or a bowl of rich escamole soup, these dishes offer a unique gastronomic experience that challenges and delights the palate. This just goes to show that sometimes it's all about thinking outside the box in the culinary world. As we've seen, a dish becomes unique and creative through a blend of innovation, tradition and experimentation. We've journeyed through Japan's fascinating square watermelons, a testament to the ingenious intersection of agriculture and aesthetics. We've experienced Italy's coffee rub, a bold fusion of classic espresso with culinary innovation. We've delved into India's Dum Pucht, a technique that encapsulates the essence of patience, slow cooking to perfection. And let's not forget Mexico's edible insects, an unconventional ingredient that's a powerhouse of nutrition and flavor. These are examples of culinary creativity at its finest, pushing the boundaries of what we know and expect from our food. These dishes and techniques challenge us to think differently about our own cooking, to explore beyond the familiar, 
and to experiment with unexpected ingredients and methods. They invite us to embrace the unknown, the unusual, the exciting. So next time you're in the kitchen, why not try something a little different? You never know, you might just create the next culinary masterpiece.